Hello, Internet, and happy Thanksgiving, and welcome to another episode of Shoutstone. I am here to bring you another Shoutcast from the Hearthstone beta, this time featuring none other than Total Biscuit once again. So I hope you're all eagerly anticipating this Turkey Day matchup as Total Biscuit takes on some random player. Not exactly sure who it is yet, but let's find out, because it is Jaina versus Gul'dan. Total Biscuit playing the part of Jaina, the mage, and X Peppers X, who I will just refer to as Peppers from now on, playing the part of Gul'dan, the warlock. So, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. I am here, by myself, either working, or recording videos, or that's about it. <laughs> so I got some huge news, kind of huge news. Uh, things are going to start changing around here at Shoutstone. Uh, I know you're all kind of used to the solo cast that I've been doing as of late and the only, well, that I've done since the show has been incepted, but the reason I do a solo cast is because I have such a weird schedule at work that I don't generally have the ability to really do anything with anybody else, but I'm working on that. And we might actually have a partner for future Shoutstone episodes coming soon. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I, I might roll it out in addition to all the new production changes that I want to do and things like that. So I'm very excited for that to happen. But I need more games. So if you have any games that you want to send me, make sure you do so. You can either upload them on YouTube, shoot me the link, and I'll download them off there. If you stream them on Twitch, I can grab them off of there. It's all good. But anyway, let's get into the game. So Total Biscuit started his turn off by coining in the Murloc Tidehunter, getting that extra Murloc minion out on turn one. Uh, we also have for the opponent, Pepper's got that 1-2 uh, uh, Novice Engineer out right off the bat. So looks like we're getting some mirror image play, which is a great way to start focusing fire on the opposing hero. Not having to worry too much about losing those minions that he got out on turn one. And gets a nice bit of early damage going, and that's that's always good, you know. The, the early earlier you can start dishing out some damage, uh, the better, because it's going to force your opponent to really be on the clock as far as responding to that threat. All right, so does get that uh, Bloodfin Raptor out there. Out there, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> so Total Biscuit does. Wow, Total Biscuit does have that Frost Nova sitting in his hand. He could use that to lock down those minions, get another few points of damage. Uh, I don't know if he wants to necessarily go that route quite yet. He also could get that Acolyte of Pain into play. But we will have to see what decision he decides to make. Looks like he is going to go with the Acolyte. No? Yes? No? Sorcerer's Apprentice instead. Works for me. And focus fire on the hero again. So as he's looking at it right now, uh, unless Peppers has some kind of spell options, uh, he's going to have to burn both of those minion attacks this turn on clearing the mirror images. That's precisely what he's going to do. Oh, and a key shadow bolt gets rid of that pint size uh, sorcerer. Or whatever it was. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, it's one of those days. End of a long work day. Just ready to shout cast some games. But that minion is gone, he's going to put the Senjin Shield Master out into play, and now that those top minions are gone, it's time to start clearing the field. So he sacrifices the Murloc Tidehunter to get rid of that Razorfen Raptor. And we'll play the Mortal Coil to get a card draw and clear that Murloc off the field. So, at this point, all right, he's going to put a Summoning Portal into play. He could play that Engineer, he's not going to attack with it. Flame Strike. One of my most hated cards is now in the hand of Total Biscuit, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. Oh, and a very excellent play there. Swaps the health and damage of that summoning portal, which makes it a 4-0 minion, and therefore dead. So, can't go wrong there. So, Total Biscuit still focusing fire. Gets that Acolyte of Pain out. And really has to pass the turn because he has nothing else he can do. So Peppers is in a pretty dangerous position right now. It is not looking good. He's got to get some minions out there to start responding to this threat. Really, something to uh, shut down the taunt minion. He's going to put a Stranglethorn Tiger out there. 
which is fine. Nice little 5-5 five, five minion. He can at least use that to get things out there. And he's going to power overwhelming that little gnome to get rid of the shield master. So he does have that spell breaker. Unfortunately, it's not going to be of really any use right now because he cannot target that Stranglethorn Tiger because it's been frosted. But he does have Frost Nova. He could use that. And unfortunately, it does not work. It did work. I thought it would work. I was wondering why it didn't work. Uh, but it did work. So he pings his own Accolade of Pain to get a card draw and then just attacks into the hero. So at least he's going to lock down that Tiger for this next turn. I, I keep forgetting that there's always that slight delay for the uh, Frost Nova effect to actually take effect and appear on the minion. But it did work. And that Tiger is frozen. So not really much in the way of damage that can be dealt by Peppers this turn. He's going to have to get some more spells out. He's going to play a Violet Teacher to prepare for some incoming spell damage, I'm assuming. But Flame Strike is on the table. It could take out only one thing, actually. So he might want to reevaluate. He does have Blizzard, however. He could use that to freeze everything on the other side of the table. But he wouldn't be able to really respond with much else. That is what he's going to do. So to kill one of those minions, freeze everything else, he could ping that Acolyte of Pain again. Yeah, is he, he going to do that? Is he going to do it? I don't know. <laughs> he could do it. And he will do it. Alright, so he's going to ping that Acolyte of Pain again. Gets a Kona Cold. And time to focus fire again. So, Peppers is in a dangerous position. Our Warlock player is at the under the, the half health point. His minions are being controlled very well by Total Biscuit. And he has a Kona Cold in his hand, which means they can be controlled once again. So, yeah, he can basically freeze out everything except for probably the Loot Hoarder. Alright, well, he's getting some good minions out there, which is going to cause Total Biscuit to really have to make a choice as to what he decides to do this turn. He does have that Flame Strike, which <laughs> I think he's going to be playing that, and the field is clear. <laughs> so, he does get the card draw off Loot Hoarder, but he loses every minion he has before he even gets a chance to use them. So some great control and removal play by Total Biscuit on that turn. And now our Warlock player has to rebuild once again. He's going to Frost Elemental and freeze out that minion there to lock it out, but I think Total Biscuit's going to have to start looking at some more potent abilities here. He does have that Cone of Cold. He could use that to lock down the other minions once again. Get something else on the field. He could spell... Uh, is this what he's going to do? It looks like it's what he's going to do. And that is what he's going to do. Plays a Raging Worgen. And he's going to ping that Berserker and sacrifice the Acolyte of Pain for that last point of health to get rid of it. And get all three card draws. So he got the maximum amount of use out of that Acolyte of Pain. Getting all three points of health, all three card draws off of it. That Frost Elemental controlled expertly once again. And about eight points of damage now staring our Warlock player in the face. Not counting whatever else could come out. <laughs> because we don't know what's going to come off off the card draw, which could happen. We also don't know what responses the Warlock player is going to make here, because, I mean, he, he does need to start shutting some things down. Um, now, the Raging Worgen could, you know, easily be pinged on this next turn. And uh, that'll give it its Wind Fury ability. Risky Flame Imp there. Oh, but a key Shadow Flame there, so it's probably worthwhile, because it does clear the field. So now Total Biscuit has to find a way to respond. He hasn't taken any damage yet, so he's still got quite a bit of uh, headway to make here. He's going to play that Silver Silverhand Knight. A couple of pint-sized summoners. Which will make this next turn very interesting. So now our Warlock player is... Uh, I'm sure his main concern is going to be on those pint-sized summoners. But he does have endgame damage on the other side of the field. So he has to deal with it. He's going to drop that Harvest Golem. Which is going to be of not too much concern for Total Biscuit at this point. We'll even trade that Frost Elemental. 
A weird little minion swap there happening with the death of the uh, silver hand. Dark Iron Dwarf to buff up the robot. <laughs> Alright, well two pint size summoner out summoners out there can make things go very cheaply. He does have a flame strike which can clear the field once again. He will play the Ogre Magi first. Field is clear. And this is almost going to be GG here, but he's going to trade off one of those summoners to keep the opponent's field clear. And once again, fatal damage on the other side of the field. He doesn't look ha yeah, he doesn't have any response there, unfortunately, not the card he needed off a of top draw, so Peppers will lose this game. Lethal damage was in his face. So that is gonna do it. Total Biscuit takes the win once again. And there you have it. So thank you very much for watching, as always. Don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel for daily Hearthstone updates and videos and shoutcasts. And uh, stay tuned for some really big, cool changes that are going to be coming to this show, hopefully in the very near future. But until then, thanks a lot for watching. Like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time.